What is going on guys? It is once again Legacy Kill HD here, your number 12 source for Black Ops 2, yes. So today we're going to be talking about the best and worst assault rifles, and I gotta say guys, I am very excited to talk about this, so hopefully you guys at the end of the commentary can smack that like button if you do enjoy, and possibly subscribe for more awesome commentaries about Black Ops 2 and other games. So, for we have to get started really right now, because we have a lot of weapons to cover, just, I think it's 9. Uh, these are just coming from the confirmed weapons that we know for sure. So first off, we're going to start with the SWAT 5.56. I think that's how it's uh, announced. It was originally called the SIG 5.56, but I don't exactly know what happened. I guess it was changed or something. Uh, maybe someone can tell me in the comments and uh, enlighten my intelligence about that. So this is just some information about the weapon. The magazine size is 30 rounds, and the starting ammunition is 30 uh, rounds then the plus 90 and the fire mode is a three round burst what we've seen the gameplay I believe it's also in zombies it was pretty impressive nothing like whoa this is gonna be an overpowered weapon uh, it looked pretty impressive that's all I gotta say about that weapon and we also have some sick gameplay for that too all the weapons have gameplay so we're gonna move on to the M8A1 which was originally the XM8 don't again I don't know exactly what happened there it just changed uh, I guess maybe it was originally just called the M8A1 and people thought it was XM8. So uh, the magazine size for this weapon is 32 rounds and the starting ammunition is 32 uh, plus 96. So, and the recoil is very low for this weapon so that's actually a very good thing for some of you guys who have like really bad accuracy I guess. <laughs> and the fire mode is a burst fire and this weapon does appear in zombies like a lot of these weapons. Not all of them but a lot of the assault rifles do appear in zombies. And let's move on guys. <laughs> like I said we gotta we got a lot of weapons to cover. So we got the SCAR H. This appeared in MW2, and MW3 featured a type of it. It was the SCAR L, not the SCAR H. But this will be the first time since MW2 the SCAR H is appearing. Uh, the magazine size is 30 rounds, and the fire mode for this weapon is automatic. For the gameplay we have uh, that I'm going to be featuring, it's not like too great, I guess. But it does feature show the gun and what it looks like. Uh, I believe it's also in Zombies. Uh, a lot of discussions going on about that I'm pretty sure it is confirmed for zombies so once again just another uh, assault rifle that's going to be appearing in zombies so let's move on to the SMR the magazine size is a little bit lower it's 20 rounds and the fire mode is semi-automatic and this does also appear in zombies the zombie trailer I'm not sure if I have any zombie gameplay of this but if I do you guys can obviously tell it is pretty strong and it does it does remind me of a weapon not off the top of my head maybe I'll leave an annotation or something telling you guys which weapon it reminds me of but uh, it's it's pretty impressive once again I don't think it's going to be one of those main weapons that we'll be using always so let's get down to the actual one that I'm really excited about seeing and it's the MTAR it's a lot of like the TAR 21 from MW2 the fire mode for this weapon is automatic and the gameplay for this is absolutely sick uh, special credit to the guy who actually is bringing us this and you guys can see obviously his name uh, his YouTube on there it's and what it says actually in the description of the weapon is that it's a very strong and versatile uh, weapon so once again I think this will be one of the weapons that you'll see a lot of people using I don't know if it's gonna be one of the weapons that's gonna be one of the most powerful weapons but if it is I'll, I'm gonna make sure I'll be using that because I'm very excited to see the uh, the tar coming back to Call of Duty since uh, being last seen in MW2 so moving on let's <laughs> see AN94 the magazine size for this weapon is 30 rounds not a lot of information uh, that I've found so far on this weapon, but I'm sure if I leave a couple of an an uh, annotations, I can show you guys some more information. But uh, it does appear in the Zombies trailer, so it is confirmed for Zombies also. And the actually, I'm not sure. I think I may have some Zombie gameplay for it. If not, you guys, I'm sure you guys can go just go check the uh, reveal trailer, which has it in there. Yeah, I believe it appears uh, with the Riot Shield or the Combat Shield at that part. So let's get down to the Type 2.5, which the gameplay in this one was not really impressive. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It really was nothing. I think the uh, player only got like one or two kills and was mainly just walking around with it. Uh, it is similar to, well, the name is similar to the Type 9.5. Uh, based on what we've seen in the gameplay, it's not really like the Type, not uh, alike to the uh, Type 9.5 in like, the style of the weapon. But uh, the magazine size for this weapon is 30 rounds, and it does have low recoil, which is another good thing. And the fire mode is automatic. 
So moving down to the next weapon, which I'm not really too, you know, like, whoa, this is going to be a great weapon because it doesn't appear to be the Fal OSW. If you guys don't know, in MW, I mean, in Black Ops, uh, there was the FNFAL. That was, uh, it was used, but I'm going to say it wasn't like one of those weapons that were really overpowered and a lot of people used. It was one of those weapons that a lot of people, I guess, used if they had modded controllers and or they just wanted to have some fun. But I understand some of you guys did actually use it seriously. I'm just using uh, my perspective of the weapon. Now down to our last weapon guys, we have the M27 and there hasn't been a lot of gameplay for this. I think I only have like 9 seconds so I'm really mainly just going to have a screenshot of it. I apologize, it's just that uh, Treyarch hasn't been releasing a lot of uh, information for this weapon. And the magazine size for this weapon is 30 rounds, it has reduced recoil and high mobility. The fire mode is automatic. And uh, guys, that's really all the weapons we have right now, but there is a lot of other weapons that are speculated return, like the M16, It's we've seen pictures of the M16, we also, there's rumors of the Galil still coming back, there's many other weapons that still could possibly be coming back, but to this date, right now at this second, we don't have any uh, information about it yet, so we'll just have to wait until the release date, but of the uh, confirmed weapons, these are the best and worst weapons on my perspective, the one weapon that really stuck out to me was basically the M8A1. I don't really know why, it's just the weapon that I think honestly is going to be one of the top notch weapons that a lot of people will be using, and also the MTAR or MTAR. I was also really impressed with that weapon. But tell, tell me in the comments, guys, what was your favorite weapon, and please consider liking the video if you did enjoy, and subscribe. And believe me, guys, I, I am actually really excited of uh, doing this commentary just about these weapons, because I love Call of Duty, uh, even though a couple years, uh, MW3 was much, uh, much disappointment in my opinion. But anyway, guys, I'm Legacy Kill HD, and I'm out.